Well, hello, people. It's me. I'm Big M back. And here we are in Geo. What are we doing here? Well, just a bit of shopping. Uh, Geo is a great place to shop now that it's nice and far away from the house. If we enter through here, and oh, it will tell you which day it is of the week. Whatever you do, do not enter that little area to the left. It will trigger a quest that you uh, that will make it uh, impossible for you to complete other quests. Anyways, this is Geo. And the thing about Geo you need to notice, it's full of cheapos. Yeah. I'm selling minerals on my route here! Well, okay. <laughs> right, uh, yes. Each platinum is available here, which is super duper useful. Being able to create things with each platinum is super special awesome. And if we head into uh, this area here, um, this is the, they say it's an instrument shop, but it also sells a lot of uh, weapons. All made of each, each items. And look at that. And if we head out. This is, we're, not, we're not here for all of this. We're here for this shop right here. Hello, Alex. Alex Wendell, I think his name is. And he sells gems. And we're gonna, just going to shop for some high-level gems. Namely, um, either emeralds or pearls. We have actually bought a bit of emerald earlier. Let's buy some pearl. hi ha. We have plenty of money to do so. So, you know, splurge. Just head out. And go through here. What do you have to say, Spotlight? The wind, the wind blew some leaves away, man. Yeah. Anyways, we'll head all the way down through here. Notice that I have Gooey the Goblin with me now. I've been bringing him to a nice farming area. So that's always good to know. <laughs> We're just gonna head home, I guess. Yeah, dead Lucenia. I've uh, farmed for a lot of um, cabadillos because that's the uh, the main diet for our, for our goblin, cabadillos and dia laurels. And I've been boosting well, cabadillos will boost the defense uh, at the cost of some charm growth, but uh, we don't care about charm growth on on our our friend here. Anyways, we're gonna head into the workshops. We gotta create something with that pearl we just bought. I just jump right in. All right, we're gonna create some armor. What we're gonna create is a ring, a really, really powerful ring. We're gonna create it with a pearl, so we have a pearl ring. Good thing we're not creating a necklace, otherwise it would be a pearl necklace. <laughs> Anyways. Armor alteration. Basically, an armor has five slots. Uh, two hidden ones. The first hidden one doesn't matter; doesn't affect anything. So here we are. We have a pearl ring with a hidden ability added to it using a round seed. And the hidden ability doesn't actually add anything. Okay, but here we are. We're going to uh, where is it? Add some sulfur. Yep, sulfur right here. Didn't sulfur doesn't actually add dryad? It adds another skill, but basically it pushes uh, the dryad skill that we've added using our round seed up one, up one slot. And now in the hidden bottom slot, uh, we have a skill called the sorcerer skill. Now that we add another bit of sulfur, it pushes the sorcerer skill back up, so it reveals another skill. Alright, and now we're going to add a final bit of sulfur. And there we go. The sorcerer skill acts as a multiplier for some of these other skills. So, uh, for the elements of, of this uh, uh, of this ring. And now we're going to add another round seed into it. And what's going to happen is that this dryad will go 
wouldn't, wouldn't actually be removed, but it would put into another hidden slot. So right now in the top hidden slot is a Dryad, and there's three Sorcerer's cards, which acts as multipliers for our um, for us, uh, us to add some other skills. Okay, and if I'm going too fast, um, doesn't really matter. All you need to do is memorize this sequence of um, items I've added. Next up, we'll add a Needle Lettuce. Needle Lettuce will actually give us uh, the Bed of Thorn skill, I think is what it's called. And we needed a higher, high, high enough level of Dryad for us to add the, the Bed of Thorn skill, which added some more um, levels of Dryad. Anyway, so we'll just alter the armor a bit more. And we are going to add an Ear of Wheat. You have weeded at Fertility Goddess, which is super useful on a ring. But as you can see, this is what we added with the Needle Lettuce, the Bed of Thorn. And for our ring to be used, uh, what we want now is to move the Fertility Goddess all the way up towards the hidden slot. So we need to add a whole load of other skills. So right now we're going to add... Uh, what are we going to use? I think we're going to use a Spiny Seed. There we go. The spiny seed adds the Yggdra skill, Yggdra, Yggdrasil skill, which is ever so useful. And here we are, that's the fertility goddess. The Yggdrasil skill adds um, 20, uh, you know, plus 20 to all stats. Oh, oh, makes it available for us to add plus 20 to all stats. Um, but we're going to need to add those stats later using other, other items. Uh, we're gonna add Poison Fang. Poison Fang will now add another ability, which is the uh, uh, God of the Underwater, whatever it's called. But yes, our Yggdrasil has moved up from our bottom hidden slot. And now that uh, we've added that, we're gonna go Pearl Ring and add another uh, Spiny Seed, I believe. Where is this? There we go. Spiny seed. Yep. And the bed of thorns. Goodbye. It goes into a hidden slot. Yep. Yeah, be bees headed god. That's what it's called. Um, bees headed god is just there for its um, elemental properties. Nothing to do with uh, uh, what we have. Uh, just gonna add a lily pot here. Doesn't really matter. The Fertility Goddess, here he goes, into our hidden slot. And now we have Yggdrasils and a Beast Head of head God in, in three middle slots. Which, you know, technically doesn't really matter. All we needed was just that Yggdrasil on the top slot, the top shown slot. And what we're gonna do now is gonna add a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of meat. About nine pieces of meat should do it. Any old meal meat will do, but what happens is um, the the meats will add uh, extra stats, and because we have Igrazil as our top uh, skill, top shown skill, it allows us to add lots and lots and lots of stats. Just bump up our pearl ring ability here. Yeah. Oh. Thrilling, thrilling, hammering time. Just more pearl rings. Just more alteration. We'll be done in a second, folks. Don't worry about it. Um, speaking of which, I've got a new mic set up. If you haven't noticed, uh, I have finally have a mic stand now. So I could actually do live recordings a lot better. Now I could use my um, array microphone to do with the recording instead of just using my uh, uh, headphone mic. Which I guess is a mixed blessing because my array microphone's not that good. <laughs> um, still, uh, I, I could be going out and getting a new mic. Uh, I've gotten a bit of um, money now to to spend, but uh, really I should be saving up. And the but. If I have got money to spend, I guess you know what that means if you're um, a fan of my outlines. 
I guess I'll do an update soon enough. Maybe something to do with the um, 150th, 150 subscribers, which is which is which I'm getting there. But um, oh well, some more arm armor alteration. I think uh, this is the last bit of me. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We can finally leave. But what we have now, let's just check our items. Oh my god! Plus 20 of the all stats, 12 uh, special defense. Yeah, that's that's just great. The mystic powers of Yggdrasils and Beast Hated God. Essence level of 5 Dryad. Perfect! And we're gonna rename the ring appropriately. Uh, to rename the ring, what you need to do is uh, basically head to this... Uh, uh, what do we have to do? Yes, you need to click on it, hit the status, and then just click on its name. And then you can rename it. You can do this with everything. Um, I think you could do it with NPCs, you could do this with um, your pets. But I'm gonna name it something quite appropriate, actually. So... I really don't like how this game treats spaces. Yeah, it's always too big. But this is an epic ring for epic proportions. Plus 20 to all stats. I mean, that's ridiculous. Um, and I will equip it. As you can see, I've also got another ring which I named aptly Ring of Doom, which you created with Emerald. Look at that, plus 20 defense. 26 special defense. That's the epic ring. And the ring of doom. Nope, uh, the ring of doom status. Yep. Just awesome. Anyways, um, if you know, know what um, Fertility Goddess does when it's in the hidden slot, it basically is the same ability as a forbidden ring. Hey, you pet. Hey, you boxy. I renamed him Boxy, by the way. Hooray for internet memes. Okay, um, I'll be doing lots of feeding. Boxy's still on his uh, regular diet. Uh, we're having a diet of two Cabadillos and one De Laurel to maximize his um, defense growth. And as for Boxy, he's still on his um, gold clovers and rocket papayas diet. I'm gonna leave him to graze. Better than not doing anything. But yeah, as you can see, I'm way over leveled, and uh, I will hopefully my little pet here will do fine. I'm going to level him up to about level 27 eventually. But for now, I will tell you where I level up. I think you guys seen this before, but this is my favorite place to level up in the well in this in uh, this playthrough. The Mickey Caverns is nice and far, and it's also got uh, quite a good selection of monsters wh whom I could farm against. But the best place is right here to jump in and point ourselves. A bit of um, cannibalism? Um, no, we don't actually eat um, these guys. But yeah, these goblins right here, best place to farm, I think. Because each drop about 150 XP. Yeah, and look at that. It's just wonderful. I'm just gonna keep farming until we level up. Um, the Forbidden Ring properties have our ex have, will halve our XP. And um, it would be even better if you could actually get your little goblin to, to run up and pick up the XP. Uh, I made a bit of a redundancy because I actually have two of these rings equipped together. But, uh, who cares? But look at this. Look at the damage we're doing with, with just these leg flips. Two leg flips and already dead there. Okay, folks. This is I'm Biggie, signing off. See you guys in a bit. Bye for now.